my name is Dale Fix, and thank you for tuning in. We're going to be doing something different from what I usually do, and that is I usually don't make tutorial videos, but this is going to be one of those. However, since I do love playing the game quite a lot, I'm going to be starting a fresh campaign, and I'm going to do that because I think it's important for me to show you videos in a chronological order so when you are watching this playlist you will see what steps you will come across in a normal play style so for that we're going to be using the young gun campaign it doesn't really matter which start you take because there's a lot of starts all of them have their unique flair so definitely try all of them out the way you progress usually is the same so i'm going to be launching that campaign and i'll just quickly go over the steps that i usually do when i launch a campaign it might not be the information you're looking for but maybe in the future and of course, if you let me know in the comment section what topics are interesting to you, then I will definitely keep that in mind and showcase that whenever I get to that certain topic. So, I'll meet you in my ship in space in Black Hole Sun in a second. Even though I said to you I would meet you in space, I've decided there is a step in between. If you're new to X4 or you haven't played for a long time and you're a bit rusty, if you press H on your keyboard, there is a tutorial. And this goes from basic flight, ship modules, mission management, item deployment, and so on. These tutorial videos are actually, well, I say videos, they're tutorials and they go over step by step what you're doing. And it's quite good. So, if you are already lost, then check out the tutorial inside of a, of a campaign that you're currently going to be playing. Usually, I don't think people will tell you that in the very first video of a tutorial series, but I think it's important for you to know that you already have a button on your keyboard that will bring you probably all the information you could potentially need. But now we're going to be hitting M and we're going to be changing our logo because I don't like that one. And you can add custom logos. If you want to see how, let me know in the comment section. It's not that difficult. All you need to do is add a folder and add PNGs into it of a certain size. If you Google that, I know for a fact that you will find all the info on that subject, what you need. Default skin, all of that, naming, logo, it's all nice, it's not interesting. Let us quickly get into our ship before the autopilot station. Disengaged. You're in trouble now. God, I hope the autopilot is disengaged. Elevate. Anyways, Vanguard. let's unlock. So, we're looking at the radar and there is already been a bit of a fight by the looks of it. Doesn't seem to be too interesting of stuff. Sometimes you can find some very interesting goodies. But for now, we are going to be focusing on this bit. We only know three sectors and the game is large. It is extremely large. These yellow icons mean that there is a mission. Seeking rare spices is one of those missions that you might want to pick up. But just not going to be completing right away. Even though the pay is absolutely great. The rare spices you can buy from trade corners. And trade corners are actually the stores that are there. That, this with the, um, I don't know how you call that in English. Uh, but this is a trade corner. Just go there. This is on every station, every docking port. You'll have one of these. And if you have multiple docking places on a station, you will have multiple of these. Very easy mission to take, and we will definitely be taking it. I knew I could count on you. I wouldn't have my hopes up too soon. 
Now, we are just going to go outside, do a quick long range scan. That is at least how I usually get started. So, long range scan, all that trigger. Let go when the line is finest. And we'll just wait until all of those question marks appear. So what I'll do now, in order to get multiple missions and get a bit of a feel of the game and where those, you know, certain goods might be in the future, is we're just quickly going to be visiting those stations. So I'll just do that real quick and I'll meet you when that is done. For the rest of this so-called guide tutorial bit, like I said, it might not be the most interesting start for you. But I think it's important for you to understand that this game, it might take time. It's not going to be as fast as you hope it to be. Prepare to lose ships, prepare to lose stations, prepare to lose a lot of money. Make sure you save on a regular basis. Have auto save on even though it's always triggers at the most impossible time. You will thank yourself for that option. There is nothing worse than doing three hours of work, your ship getting blown up, your pod getting destroyed, and you lost three hours of your, well, I would say life, because you just lost three hours. You can start again, and that can be very discouraging. So, do yourself a favor, scan. Also, if you want something else to know, if you click this question mark and you zoom out, you get a bit of an idea on what is there. I think it's a bit of a bug right now, so don't be surprised if that eventually disappears. Autopilot engaged. Now... While we're traveling, if you ever get lost in a sector and you do not know where you can find a gate out of a certain sector, I will advise you to take a close look at every ship flying into this, uh, this particular system. As you can see, these guys, as well as this guy, seems to be going into a straight line. And that is because, and we all know this already, there is a jump gate. The AI always goes the easiest path from gate to gate. So if you are lost and you don't know where a gate is and you have traffic, you might want to follow those guys to find your way out. Now, I just finished exploring this system with all of the stations. There were a few hiding here and there, keep in mind, your scanning range on your very first ship is very limited since there's two versions of the scanner, Mark 1 and a Mark 2. This ship is having a Mark 1. So the missions we picked up, and I've picked up three missions. One is the rare spices. The other one is fixing the data leaks. This is most likely where you will get started. It is at the equipment dock, and at the equipment dock is, of course, the uh, trader's corner where we might be able to buy the rare spices that those two will give you enough money to get yourself nine laser towers and potentially drop that in this area all of that please halt we will be scanning your inventory that's great we'll be waiting we will be complying officer so these are all very easy missions where you cannot do anything wrong apart from by accident you can go the scan came back clean scanning the data leak instead of repairing so in just in case that you might have issues with that we will be doing this mission together and for the rest of the missions i can only advise you is have fun enjoy yourself do not worry about making mistakes save at a regular interval and just enjoy your time okay so while we're flying we come across this a criminal ship how dare he there's a thing that you need to 
pay attention for for when you're going to be shooting this. Be careful shooting them towards stations. Also, if that color, and it's currently bright red over now, but say it is going to be dark, don't shoot it. It is hiding behind a module. You do not want to piss off a station like this. So be careful. And just have your way with it. You will complain a bit about you shooting him, paint job, sparing life. Container. And you might just get some interesting goodies that you could potentially sell for some gold. It's not going to be a extreme amount of money that you'll get. But, you know, it's better than nothing, I would say. Also... I've decided to uh, check out the station first real quick. Because there is one item that I want to warn you about. So let's quickly dock up again. Successfully docked. The item I want to warn you about... Welcome. ...are mines. You have normal mines over here. They cost you 4,000. But these mines, they don't care who dropped them. I've lost a lot of ships dealing with this and it gets really tedious if you have a mission that wants you to deploy mines please be careful also decided I want to do this a bit differently let's get rid of the nav buoys uh, and we'll get six laser tower mark one since that actually is the mission add that over here Actually, there's another thing that I think you should potentially do. You do not have a pilot on this ship. And you cannot assign a pilot like so. Because currently, you are the pilot. I suggest you just add, the, uh, add yourself a service crew member. Add that to the shopping list and confirm that order. Then you want to... Get out of the Elite seat. Vanguard. Select your ship. Go to crew. And promote best crew member to pilot. Sir. Now you have someone to pilot the ship. If you are not there. Let's quickly undock. And we'll go over the data leak like I said. Deploying the laser towers is quite simple. Just go deploy military and right click. Please do that at the designated area. Not inside of this station. That would be extremely awkward. Let's quickly select the right mission. The data leaks. Set that to active. So right now we have found our target. When you're going into scanning mode you can see this very bright blinking thing just get close to it get out of your seat elite vanguard equip if just get yourself into space nova target whatever it is that you need to scan and then go towards a range of like 20 ish meters and you can see that the meter is going up if you get too close, you will potentially scan the data yourself and that will fail the mission. There is no harm done, you just failed the mission, that is it. I think with that note, this is where I will end off this very first video of what will be my tutorial series. In which I'll show you my first steps whenever I begin a new campaign i've done plenty of them so for now thank you for watching i hope you found it at least a bit useful and i'm sure that we'll see each other very soon with auto uh, local auto mining local auto trading repeat orders and so on if you have suggestions let me know in the comment section or join the discord community i will always be there to lend a hand wherever i can do so. So thank you and I'll see you next time.